Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to today's webinar. So as uh, when people are still streaming in, so let me tell you more about what we do. So uh, let me launch a poll first to let me know if you are the first time attending this webinar. So uh, we do our daily webinar where Jin is going to walk you through his thoughts and ideas for a specific currency uh, for each day. So for Monday, we'll, talk, we'll be talking about Aussie and Kiwi, Tuesday on Euro, Wednesday on Pound, Thursday on Yen and Gold, and Friday on CAC and oil. So uh, today is uh, Thursday, so Jin will be talking about uh, yen and gold. So uh, this webinar is going to be very beneficial for like all the long-term traders and uh, also the short-terms as well. So uh, during this session, Jin will be going through what could uh, move prices, possible trade ideas, highlighting potential targets and risks. So a very important disclaimer that any information shared during this session is not intended to be trade recommendation. It's solely the opinion and views of the speaker. So please remember to do your own analysis uh, prior to entering any trades. So uh, I'm Kenneth here. I have known Jin for I think a couple of years, like four to five years. First as a student, then after I became a coach, then uh, now I'm a, a business partner in Forex Briefcase. So uh, Jin runs LCMS Traders and Forex Briefcase, a trading coach and a million dollar trader. So what this means that he actually uh, trades uh, and also has been invited in many stages globally. So in fact, one of the reasons that uh, you might be here is because they have, you have seen him presenting in some of the events or like uh, attend, uh, attended one of his course previously. So uh, let me launch another poll right now to see how did you get here. Yeah, I see a couple of uh, new people here today. So welcome to today's webinar. So uh, while we get uh, started, so uh, please help me fill up this poll uh, and uh, let, let us know that where did you heard from us from. So uh, let me hand over to Jean for today's uh, analysis for the currency call. Good morning, how's everyone today? I see that we have Mark from Ghana and West Africa. Special shout out to you. I think you are the first person I have um, viewing from Ghana there. So let's all give a big wave to Mark over there. All right, got two very unenthusiastic waves. We'll, we'll work on that, okay? Um, so today is yen, uh, talking about the US yen, the euro yen, the pound yen, and also looking at gold. Um, if you have been following my analysis of what I've been telling you about gold, um, I know you will be making money right now. If you haven't, then you could have made money, but not right, not yet, straight away, okay? So um, let's get straight into it. If we are live on Facebook on Forex Trading Asia, um, if you have any questions, jump onto the Zoom chat and um, put it in there. I know KK has just asked when's the next LCMS course. I have no idea, KK. Um, In-person course is when we can all sit together and um, run that session. As of now with COVID, we'll wait. We'll wait and see when we can sit together. At and do a session, but uh, we will probably try and do something online sooner rather than later. Okay, let's get going. So as usual, let me just check the polls. Um, we have about a good split of you. Most of you are, tra half of you are Trader Club members. So let's just get more people into Traders Club. Okay, sharing with you about LCMS Traders Club here. Let me just move that away. Side. All right, so check with you about LCMS Traders Club here. If you are on Facebook, search LCMS Traders Club and click join. It is $49 a month to join or $199 a year. Um, makes complete sense to join for one year because all the information we're going to give you, um, you know, the whole getting started tutorials. Just last night, just last night we had a session guiding through pendants on how to trade pendants and different trade setups on that. Um, every Wednesday night, we have a session to guide you through different aspects of trading, the different tools, how to use different 
um, analysis on trading. We also have our weekly sessions where you know I guide on the Monday nights. On the Monday nights, I actually have um, either guest speakers coming in talking about different aspects of creating wealth or also guiding you through how to trade better, right? The coaching, the psychology, the um, looking at charts together and looking for trade um, ideas. We just did one last Monday and, you know, I, I didn't keep track, but I think we we're up about a couple of hundred pips already. So that's been running fantastic. And also most of you are from the trade signals. Everyone loves trade signals, but if you want trade signals faster, you want trade signals with a little bit more confidence, we send out the trade signals first in the LCMS Traders Club before it goes onto the Telegram channel, right? So time, when it comes to trade signals, time is really important. You need to get it quick. You need to know why you want to jump into the trade. So when we send it out here first, you can get into that trade before everyone else on Telegram. So you can actually be making more money, all right? And then we also, oops, that one away. And also we give you the analysis behind if it hits stop loss, if we tell you why it's hit stop loss, there's no analysis on that. We'll get to that one. Um, so we also tell you the reasons behind why we jump into a trade, the step-by-step -step logic and strategy behind why we get into trades. So you not only make money, you also learn why you are entering the trades. You build that confidence, you build that uh, system behind your trades as well. Okay, so if you're not already a member on LCMS Traders Club, make sure you jump onto Facebook and click join um you know if you don't do that you can still trade you can still make money but you probably do it with a little bit less confidence um a little bit less information and it becomes a bit of a hit and hope rather than figure out what you're doing properly okay um with that done let's look at forex factory okay so on forex factory um not much news not much news happening today in terms of looking at the, what's well, kind of just laughing away, right? Looking at the yen pairs, the yen, we actually have um, bank holidays here, the marine, marine day, right? So there's a bank holiday in um, Japan, not much news expected, not much big triggers expected at this point because of that. Um, and then we have some pound news, a little bit of US news, you see nothing really important at this point. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at the um, Euro news, which will be coming. And I spoke about the Euro news on Tuesday already. So if you want to know more about how to trade these PMI numbers and my expectations for these PMI numbers, you know, check it, uh, check the video on Tuesday. And then since we're almost to the end of the week, I'll start looking into next week's news. Again, nothing much happening on Monday little bit on Tuesday, some Aussie news on Wednesday, okay? More importantly, on Thursday morning, we have the FOMC statements, uh, the Fed funds rate and the press conference on Thursday morning. So based on this, what I anticipate is that we could see the markets move a little bit more steadily from now to next week, next Thursday morning. Um, and then after that, when we have the news at 2 a.m. on Thursday morning. We could see a little bit more volatility, a little bit more activity in the markets because of what could happen in the statements, um, the rates and the press conference. Um, I don't act anticipate that rates will change, but statements and the sentiment during the press conference is going to be important. Um, you know, how we look at the U.S. right now, they haven't been doing great economic data has been recovering but the um, sentiment coming from the whole virus situation hasn't been great which has been dragging down the US dollar a little bit right dragging down the US dollar um, with leading to that weaker US dollar which we have seen across the board so we could see that um, happening into a larger extent on Thursday morning um, so in the meantime, when you're trading, you know, make sure that you um, realize your, your manage your trades a little bit more, be a bit more proactive with your trades, um, realize your profits rather quickly, leading towards the Thursday morning news. And also on Thursday night, we have the GDP numbers, advanced GDP numbers coming from the US as well. Okay, so it's going to be quite smooth sailing all the way to late next week. 
um, which actually is good for us when we are trading. Okay, so now let's look into the charts quick, quickly. Okay, so you can see my charts here, good stuff. Um, I'll jump, I'll look at the gold to start off with, right? Because we normally leave gold till the end. Do it a little bit different today. We, we look at gold first. Um, I have been, if you've been following my currency call, and I think most of you have, um, I've been looking at gold and it's been sitting there. I've been saying that it's going to break the 1730 level towards 1800. And when it got to 1800, I said it would get to 1850. It did that over the last couple of days. It went from, it broke out of this 1800 level and went straight towards the 1850 level. We've been calling for that. Um, at this point now, is at 1870. My long-term direction my long-term direction is still, my long-term, let me just put that line in there. Um, my long-term direction was still 1900, but we're very close to 1900 now. I do believe that we could still see, oops, we could still see, um, let me find the number there. All right. We could still see 2000, but that's not going to happen in a, in a hurry, right? That's not going to happen. Um, a click of finger. What's probably going to happen is at current 1870, we'll see it sit at this level of 1870, 1850, bounce on this support level for a while before moving higher, similar to what it did um, on the 8th of July to, to the 17th of July. For that 10 days, it was just sitting at that 1800 range or support level before bouncing off strongly towards 1850 and now 1870. So I think that we could see it sit at this level, um, move towards 1900 and then possibly towards 2000. Um, if you are trading gold, it is one of the most volatile pairs um, because it, is that, it has that risk haven um, characteristics. So as much as we see that weakening in the US dollar, we're going to see gold continue moving up. Okay, so one hint, one hint is that once you start seeing a little bit more optimism into the US dollar, we could actually see that climb of gold slow down. It will still probably continue moving up, but it will slow down a little bit. Um, something to take note of. Okay. Um, so let's look into the uh, different currency pairs now because it's um, yen day let's look at the us yen to start off with actually let's look at the daily chart so look at the daily chart it is a mess you know um, i had those lines we've got more lines than we normally have in here um, because we were doing the analysis with our trader club members before um, i think we were looking at the daily on the one hour time frame and we were saying that it was going to come down to this level so on the daily time frame right now you can see that it's sitting at 107. It's sitting at 107 in that very tight range. Um, looking for it, I think that we could still see that move upwards, right? Can it move down? Very possibly, but um, I think that any downside move will be quite limited. I still would rather look for an upside move, possibly towards nine, uh, 109. That's not going to happen soon. I'll probably be a bit more accurate and say that, you know, it's going to happen a bit later, not straight away. So US yen is not going to be a pair that I'll be super keen on right now. Oops, let me just move this line back. All right, so US yen is probably not a pair that I'll be super keen on right now. It's probably going to trade in this 107.40 to 106.70 um, range. You know, it's a good 60 pip range attractive enough to get a lot of people caught into trade. So you might want to jump into a trade at this point in that range, but it's probably going to catch you out because no real direction upwards or no real direction downwards. So my best advice, um, if you're looking at the US yen, is to probably look at another different currency pair. Okay, so why I say that, is because if you look at Euro yen, Euro yen has been performing perfectly. It has been doing great. Um, our analysis, the last time we spoke about it with our Trader Club members, was that if it rejected 12252, um, it probably hit towards 12189, but it didn't. Um, it also bounced off this support level 
Um, I can't remember the levels that we were talking about before, but Trader Club members, check out the video that we were talking about on Monday night, right? At this point right now, um, on the Euro Yen, on the H4 time frame, there is, let me just move that, we are at this level, we're at this level of 12383. Um, it's sitting at this level now. On the H4 time frame, I anticipate that we could see it hit this level and possibly come down a little bit. Okay, but be patient. It needs to break below and close below the 12383 level. It needs to close below before you could be looking at a 30 pip stop loss. Um, a possible 50 pip take profit or even 60 pip, 70 pip take profit. That's a counter trend trade. If you're taking notes, I hope most of you are taking notes, you know, put a star there and take note that this is a counter trend trade. If you're looking for a trend following trade, then let it bounce off this level, um, you know, a 60 pip stop loss and you could be going at least 120 or 150 pip take profit. Okay, so... Um, for the Euro Yen, you could be looking at two directional, um, but my more likely scenario, I believe, is for it to test this support level and possibly break lower. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Let me just, I tend to ramble on and forget about questions. Let me check if there's any questions. All good. All right. Okay. Um, so. Pound yen, pound yen used to be my favorite pair. It is still my favorite, but not one of the highest, not one of the most favorite right now. It's probably dropped to about maybe fourth place or fifth place. Um, pound yen on the daily time frame now, looking at it, um, I do believe that 13543 is a very strong support level. 13543 is a very strong support level. Um, judging from what happened in April, um, judging from what happened in July, early July, and also how it broke lower from March and failed to break in June. So I really like this 13543 level. Um, at this point, I do think that if it doesn't break lower, we could see it move up towards the almost the 140 level. Okay, so... This is going to be a big trade. This is going to be a big trade. I probably wouldn't look at it on a smaller time frame. On the bigger time frame, if you have a bit more profit margin to trade with, I would say a um, stop loss of about 150 pips to possibly even 300 take profit could be a good trade. You know, a risk reward of one to two is a um, it's a very nice setup but it's going to take a long time to, to get through to that level. Okay, that 300 pip move might take a bit longer to happen. That's on the daily time frame. If you wanted, if you really had to look at it on a smaller time frame, I do believe that it's possibly going to come down a little bit before retesting the support and going back up. The overall view is still the same, that it could go higher, um, but your interim resistance level could be about 137.67 okay so if you're looking at it on a smaller time frame um, if it comes down a little bit maybe 40 pips 50 pips stop loss and then your take profit of 110 again um, or risk reward of one to two but then you might have to manage this trade a little bit more because that take profit level is quite near um, the stop loss level is not perfect at below 135.43. It's possibly at about 135.90, right? So a 40 pip stop loss for a possible 110 pips, 120 pips take profit, uh, risk reward of 1 to 2 or 1 to 3 there in this scenario. Um, pound yen, I would probably advise have a mix of variety of trade um, time frames. So maybe look at it on a daily time frame that actually looks like a very nice setup the way it's um, performing. Let it come down a little bit, bounce off, buy for that um, 110 pip to 300 and 320 pip stop loss, uh, take profit. Okay, um, any questions so far? I 
Daniel has been doing fantastic with the summaries. Um, all righty. If not, you take it back. Yeah, uh, fantastic session, Jean. Well, I really like your sharing on today's on the go and yin. So as we are coming close to this session, let me launch the last poll uh, over here. Yeah, and please let us know like what you thought of this session. So uh, I'm fill up this poll. So by the way, a recording of this video will be being uploaded in the LCMS YouTube channel. So uh, thanks all for today for joining the session. So tomorrow we will be talking about the cat and oil. So uh, do tune in for tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. So do trade safe, trade well, and uh, take care of yourself. Bye. <laughs>